Algebra 1, number 1.2c. I'm going to talk about simplifying expressions in this video. We multiply factors together to get a product. 2 times 4 equals 8. The 2 and the 4 are factors, and the 8 is the product. When the only common factor of a numerator and denominator is 1, the fraction's in its simplest form, and it can't be reduced anymore. Simplifying just means finding the simplest form. So 2 fourths simplifies to a half because we can divide the numerator and the denom denominator by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So see how we divided by 2 over 2? It's like identity property, isn't it? It's just a 1. But not all fractions and expressions can be simplified, so keep that in mind, okay? Most of them can. And we can simplify by factoring the numerator and denominator, and a factor of 1 can be removed. If we've got 8 over 12, we find the factors for 8, which are 2 times 4, and we find the factors for 12, which are 3 times 4, and we get rid of this 4 over 4 and substitute a 1 in its place. And now we've got 2 thirds times 1, and because of the identity property, and it keeps its identity, it's 2 thirds. See? Let's try it again. If we've got 15 over 8, we find the factors of 15, which is 5 times 3, and the factors of 8, which could be 6 times 3. And we get rid of this 3 over 3 as a 1, and we're left with 5, 6. See? How about this one? We've got 18 over 72. We've got 2 times 9 is 18, and 4 times 2 times 9 is 72. So what we do is we get rid of the 2 and the 9. See that? It's almost like we're turning that into a 1 and that into a 1. And we put a 1 in as the numerator, okay? We end up with 1 fourth. Now, we could also do it this way. Let's say we had 63 over 7. We could say 9 times 7 is 63 and 1 times 7 is 7. That's 9 over 1 or 9, see? So we could have said that this was uh, 18 times 1, and we could have found a factor of 72 as an 18, see? And we could have done it that way. We could have also done 2 times 9 and 8 times 9, and we would have had 2 over 8, which would have been 1 fourth. Do you know what I mean? Because we didn't have to do 4 times 2 times 9, did we? We could have done 8 times 9 and 2 times 9. And we would have had to reduce it some more, but this would have canceled out as a 1, and we would have had 2 eighths, which is 1 fourth. See? But we put a 1 up here when we're doing this, okay? We put a 1 in the numerator, and I know that can be confusing, but keep following with me, okay? Now remember... Whenever two algebraic expressions are equivalent, we can substitute one for the other. So if we have xy over 4y, that's really x times y over 4 times y. So this is going to cancel out as a 1, and we're going to end up with x over 4. See that? So we can just cancel out these as a shortcut and just do that instead of doing you know, turning it into a 1 and then doing that. We can just draw a line through it and cancel it out, all right? Let's take a look at this one. We've got a over 5ab. Now, if you've seen my grade 7 math videos, you know about the invisible 1. In front of every single variable is a little invisible 1. We don't write it because when we look at the a, we know there's only one a there. When there's two of them, we need to know there's two, and that's when we put a coefficient in front of the a, the number in front of the a. But when there's only one there, we don't need to write a one because we can see there's only one. See? So that's sort of how you can look at it, all right? When I was explaining down here, all right? So this a over 5ab is like 1 times a over 5 times a times b. And we can pull this a over a out, and we're left with 1 over the 5 and the b. See? So it's 1 over 5b, and this a over a cancels itself out, see? Or we could have just done that and just had 1 over 5b if we want to take the shortcut, see? We just cross the a's out and say, okay, there was an invisible 1 in front of that a, so we've got 1 over 5b. This is a really important 
uh, video to understand about the invisible one, okay? All right, now, if we have 8xy over 4x, that's 8 times x times y over 4 times x times 1. So that's like 8 times y over 4 times 1, and we pull the x's out, see? Now we end up reducing it. 4 goes into 8 2 times, so it's like saying 2 over 1, see? 2y over 1. This is 2, there's our y, and there's our 1. See that? So it ends up being 2y. Another way we can look at it is, just by canceling out, if we've got 8xy over 4x, we just cancel out this x and this x, and we're left with 8y over 4. And when we reduce this, 4 goes into 8 two times, and the y is still there. See? Now, the next video, number 1.2d, I'm going to cover more simplifying of a little bit more difficult algebraic expressions that might be confusing. And there's a link in the description, or if you're watching my playlist for Algebra 1, it should automatically go to the next one, okay? If you've got the automatic thing set up, all right? So that is how we simplify expressions. That's how we can cancel out. Make sure to check out the description for those two videos. This invisible one is really important to know, okay? All right, so I'll see you in 1.2D, and we're going to talk about more difficult simplifying, okay? Bye.